Hello, and welcome to another Let's Play, or side play, me, me move six, I've come already. On the last Let's Play, we did the supplemental fragments. And on side notes, well, Clay's games might not be, I mean, they're high on the list, but might not be my top thing, because that, that's a big list to do. I enjoy the fact that they have voice acting. Because when you play a bunch of games full of hot men and you have to, you know, do a whole bunch of stuff, it's kind of hard on the throat. Reading. Reading games about hot men is hard on the... Th Let's continue. Experience culmination fragment. The nightclub outing? Yes. Tequila? Thank you for choosing Argus. Your future, your our future, your way. I did play this part already, well, besides the demo, but uh, the audio was off. So here we go again. He reads through some papers as I tell him my weekend plans. He wanted to make sure that my social life was thriving in this new setting. It was, for now. Ominous. He seems happy that I have a new group of friends in my life. Right, of course. The nightclub trip. And the, uh, pre-gaming. Well, at least you're being social. Not something I'd recommend making a habit of, though. Yeah, being social. The pre-gaming, I mean. Not the socializing. Wait, you don't want me, like, just getting hammered? Early? Having a friend group is healthy and can make all the difference. I'm glad that you're able to get along with Isaac's friends, too. Bringing a new person into a social group can often be complicated. You'll probably notice that you're under a microscope, too. At least for a while. But they should seek your approval just as much as you're seeking theirs. I mean, I guess that's more of a people thing, because personally I'd be like, Oh, here's this new person? Okay. Though, maybe if I was, you know, thinking about them more than I would probably put them under a microscope. I don't know. After getting caught up, he puts the papers off to the side. Speaking of that, though, have you been seeking more than friends? It's healthy to date and test the waters, you know. Are you smooching any boys? I might want to replay this game and just be like, like not smooch any boys. And then go for him, because apparently that's the thing. If you don't, you know, seduce anybody else, then, uh, yeah. Dude, Isaac, I'd give it a try, actually. Makes perfect sense. You did move here for him, after all. And if not for him, then at least to live with him, which is a big gesture. From everything I've been told, it seems like you two get along just fine. Also... I know this is kind of a thing where... The amount of people that are gay is just kind of like, or, you know, bisexual is just kind of like, there. But it is kind of interesting, you know, when you play games, it's like, oh, everybody's gay. He scribbles notes down on a piece of paper that rests beside him. I'm tempted to ask him what he's writing down, but I know it's nothing bad. In fact, I'm pretty sure that will be cleared as a patient within a month or so. Have your friends told you anything about their Komarebi? I mean, do you know if any of them are like you? Bonding over a shared trait can always help. Let them know that I'm definitely the odd one out. They didn't reveal their visions, but I know that they had them. I mean, one of them said that at least they don't... They didn't say what their vision was, but, uh, I guess. But it said that they didn't know anybody else. For the time being, I was definitely alone in the struggle so here's the thing in their visions is it like they are in the moment and they know everything that that person knows kind of thing because also how long is the vi i don't know i'm asking technicalities and stuff i guess the odds were incredibly slim but as far as i'm concerned it was worth a shot if you're interested i could hook you up with some support groups 
Let them know they're not interested in that. Like I've said many times before, my lack of vision doesn't affect me. Oh, that's exactly why I'd recommend you go to a support group. I think others could benefit from hearing how you think and feel. Whether you know it or not, you're a pretty remarkable case. I shrug and ask him if that means he's close to clearing me as a patient. One step at a time, Delta. Heck. I can't make a big decision like that unless I'm certain. Thankfully, your honesty and cooperation are helping. Like, if this guy... If I don't have to pay for this stuff, and maybe this stuff isn't 100% mandatory, like I could go every now and then, it might be useful. I mean, I went to a counselor, went to one as a kid because, I don't know, parents divorced and stuff. And then I went to one at my first college because, hey, it's free and, you know, wasn't the best space at all times. Not even now, but still. I can't help but drag my attention to some colorful papers by his side. They look like pamphlets, so I decide to ask him what they are. My best guess is that he already had some support groups in mind. Oh, these? A zero handed them to me on my way to work. I guess part of their protesting involves spreading around propaganda. This first one claims that Argus is responsible for Komarebi. Wouldn't be surprised. Picks up the pamphlet and opens it. It says that they engineered it somehow. Then they swooped in to play the savior and control society. Those who don't experience visions are just strong enough to resist. So I guess that's correct because the main character is the savior and all that. With the left, he places it back down and grabs another. Now, this one was actually more interesting. It says that the existence of Komarebi disproves free will. That's clearly not true. I wonder if they actually believe this nonsense. But here, so like you can change the future? Is that, I have read Dune. I like the first book. Second book I was like halfway reading, then I finished my job. So I, you know, am waiting to the next job to continue. But in Dune, it's like, here's these universes or here's these futures. And you can kind of maneuver around it, but, uh, yeah. The, uh, what's it called? Great Jihad? Wait, Wild Jihad. Hmm. It'll be interesting to see how those books go. He flips through the second pamphlet. Unfortunately, we've seen people take their own lives due to Komarebi. This very act proves that, to some degree, we can still control fate. The leading theory is that these visions are more like warnings. You know, a kind of heads up of what could be. Some people even believe that they're glimpses into alternate worlds. Of course, I didn't bring you here to talk about metaphysical nonsense. It's kind of weird that you're just talking about metaphysical nonsense. I'm intrigued by this conversation, so I decided to turn the tables. I ask him where he stands on the subject, what he believes. Well, I believe that we'll never know the truth of Komarebi. But many visions have come to pass, while many haven't. And as I said before, some people don't live to find out. Hmm. If I had to commit to an idea, I'd say I agree with the leading theory. They're just possible outcomes. Nothing set in stone or predestined. Argus isn't responsible, and we still have free will at the end of the day. I wonder how far in to the future this game is supposed to be because the first game started on earth the second game well the first game major minor the second game was winds of change though granted it could have been shortly afterwards and then you know repeated infinite times because you know we're saying the universe or whatever and then um now we're here which is i've been hinted at is highly likely is connected to the uh, other bits of Clay's universe. Of course, that's just wishful thinking. We'll never really know. It is kind of interesting that he goes to the same things again. Some visions could just be tricks to send people down a certain path. I think it's more important to handle things on an individual basis. Though I guess if you're working in the same universe, then the same laws apply. You know, time travel. Well, not really time travel, but 
time stuff and visions were visions in the first game for example what does your vision or lack of vision mean to you it's best to lead with that rather than seek out a universal truth like i always say truth can just be a gateway to more fright i kind of want to be a psychiatrist but my mom kind of dissuaded me because she was like you work with the dregs of society he puts a second pamphlet down. I hope people don't start believing these silly stories. If those zeros are really here to cause trouble, I'd avoid them. No sense getting caught up in something like this, you know? I nod and choose not to mention the zero I ran into and will currently house soon. Besides, something told me our session was quickly running out of time. We continued to talk, but all I can talk about is the upcoming festivities. I really wonder if any of this is going to affect our... Well, that the nostalgia filter, what was it, or whatever, or this game being played out of sequence has anything to do with the game, or if it, it's just like, eh, let's do something different. We make our way down the city streets as Boots starts to wear off. It was a long walk to the nightclub, but we didn't feel like driving or using public transit. Transit. Because of that, we almost slightly, as we head towards the destination, Club Euphoria. Okay, here's the thing. You going to... I mean, I guess maybe coming back you might change your ideas, but if you're going to go drink and party do you want really want to have a long walk back I'm surprised your friend didn't help us out with transportation what do you mean gives us an open bar but he didn't send us a limo rude oh don't get greedy it was a nice gesture he just wants to get things off to a good start so here's the thing i take a limo to work Granted, that's like, what, once every month? Is is a limo... Because when I take a limo, it's a car. It's a nice car, but it's a car. But uh, it, usually when I think of limo, it's like a stretch car. Like, what is that? legs are killing me, so we're off to a great start. Remind me to give him an earful when we get there. Maybe it's a stretch limo. Speaking of which, I still need to yell at Dante. Truth be told, I can also argue that's one of the cheapest ways to uh, go to work. What did I do now? I heard that noise when you connected to our speakers, dude. Was I not clear enough the other day? Don't mess with my mods. Were you watching porn? I haven't. Well, not since then. It's just been a while since anyone connected like that. Ooh, ooh. Trust me, Isaac. I made those changes months ago. Is that supposed to get you off the hook? I'm just being honest, man. I guess we'll see. Dante scoffs and looks the other way. You know, I might not drink as much as I thought tonight. Good man, but I know it's a joke. What? Why's that? Now, let, let's try and think for a hot sec. Because he's already giving you a headache? It's these new painkillers. Damn, didn't think it was that. Wait, you're in pain? Yeah, because you won't get off my back. Damn, son. Is it too much to ask for just one night of fun? You're the one who wanted that, yet you're tearing into me. I'm not gonna tear into you like, oh, I'm gonna tear into you tonight, if you know what I mean, wink. Cause we're gay. Or at least, by or pan. There's quite a large range of things. An awkward silence fills the air as they stare at each other, lovingly. But, just like usual, they are up into laughter only a few months later. Fine, fine. I'll try and ease up on you a little bit. If we want to be friends forever, I might just have to. Oh. All of a sudden, I started to think about the conversation we had earlier. In their visions, they no longer were in touch. No longer a friend group. Again, like, I wonder if it's one of these things where it's like, he has access to all the, that guy's information, or the thoughts at the time, or what? Or if his vision was basically being like, hmm, I haven't talked to these guys in a bit. Whatever. 
You really think we can pull that off? I guess it's worth a shot. Music stops and tracks and turns to face all of us. Then we should make a pact. A gay pact. Uh, like with blood? I was gonna say blood, but sure. Uh, let's do that. No. Was that one old show that had a blood pact? Was it like It or Sister of the Traveling Pants? I have no idea what that movie was about. Ah, oh, shame. Always wanted to do one of those. I'd rather not have your blood on my hands, Taylor. So do you like cut your own hands and then kind of put your hands together or something like that? Or just kind of like put a little bit of blood on a paper or something? Oh, but I thought we were finally bonding. Come on, can you please take this seriously for a second? I just want to make sure that we don't all drift apart. Mm -hmm. And how do you suggest we do that? Uh, blood pact? Uh, the group chat, probably. It really does suck when I sometimes I have these, well, I have friends that where I just go, hey, we're, I'm going to periodically every couple of months just be like, hey, how you do? Let's promise to keep using it no matter where we are, even if it's just one or two messages a week. No pressure, right? Then we really can be friends forever. Right now, you're all important to me. I, I think about you all the time. In my vision, like I said, I'm not even aware of your existence. Oh, tragic. Everybody should know who I am. <laughs> but on a more serious note, I guess I can manage that. Yeah, you just becoming a famous Twitch streamer or somebody? Yeah, I don't plan on leaving the group, so I'm down. Being ever so shy of showing your butthole? Then let's make it official. He puts his, out his hand, palm facing down. One by one, we stack our hands on top of his. I wait until the end. Since I'm the nearest one here. Friends, until the end. Until the end. In red, like blood. We all say it in unison and look at each other with big smiles. A moment later, we pull back our hands and continue on our way. I had no problem with the agreement, since it seemed pretty low maintenance. It's a little odd, but this pact suddenly made me feel a little more grounded. If we really, if we really followed through, I'd always have friends to support me. Unless I betrayed them. Because I, I have no idea where this game is going. That made this scary new city seem all the more inviting. By the time the night was over, this place would be home. I decided to bring up that new... That my counselor told me. That my counselor told me to bring something that our counselor told me out of conversation. Theory that Comrade isn't set as stone. That's a possibility. A pact like this should, could very well defy what they believed to be fate. Ah, yes, the parallel universe thing. It, well, this. Parallel universes, I guess, could exist in this universe. That's true. Then I'm screwed no matter what. If you're my best friends, then this is clearly the darkest timeline. It do be like that sometimes. Oh, rude! Hey, don't worry. <laughs> I thrive in the dark. You're horny in the dark. And in the light. Actually, in general. I notice that Dante looks a little worried. Hey, uh, you know your counselor isn't supposed to do that, right? He's supposed to stick to facts and... Argus approved exercises. I may be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's off curriculum, so to speak. Hmm. Now, it, it, would that be just a counselor specific to people that don't get Komarabi or what? Yeah, and that could only come from someone who's never had a vision. See, you never had vision? People like us who live with Komarebi kind of find that laughable. <laughs> it's something you can't understand, not unless you've lived it. Ask him for some clarification, as I'm a little confused. Well, I didn't have a speech prepared or anything, but it'd be like hosting a lecture on something you know nothing about. And not only that, but your students are already experts on the subject. Well, except me, because I don't have Como Webby. Also, he also said that I have superior willpower, so all of you bow to me. That could be both difficult and embarrassing. Just think about it this way. 
It's inescapable even if you escape it. We could defy our vision, sure, but we still have to experience it. Every day, we face the future as if it were the present. Well, hopefully it's a nice future. Or a horny future. If you know what I mean. It's indistinguishable from reality. And it's awful. So even if we are friends forever, I'll still lose you all the time. Who cares if it's another world or universe? Feelings are... All real. Now, I guess I should ask on the forums specifically, but if, if it's like, is Komarebi a thing you relive every day? Like, every day you relive that sing, or do you live it vividly and it's kind of ingrained into your memory and, you know, it's one of those core memory kind of things? Wow. He nailed it. I guess I never thought of it that way before. Even if we learn the origin of these visions, they'd still happen every day. <clears> that <throat> exists alongside the truth, and probably even overpower it. Though I have to say, we should probably change the subject. <laughs> this whole thing seems like a recipe for depression. Let's not sabotage our night out, huh? True. <laughs> and honestly, thanks for your input, Delta. I know that you were only trying to help out. I try, I nod, and tell him it's fine. It's true, though. It wasn't my place to speak about Kumarebi. I'm sorry! I'm sorry for being sorry. Building off that lecture metaphor, I should be sit- Should be sitting and listening. Whoa! Didn't expect such a big lineup. Around the corner, and see the nightclub for the first time. For some reason, it looks exactly how I'd expect it would. Isaac was right. The lineup was massive. I thought you said they canceled the event. They did. I guess this is just the kind of traffic they get. It is the most popular club in town, after all. Hopefully it's earned that title. Any chance your friend can help with the line? I think he did, actually. Let me go talk to the person at the door. Isaac motions first to wait, and he approaches the club. We stand around and exchange glances with one another. Dante still looks worried, and it's close to me. You know, I was serious about what I said. Your counselor isn't supposed to talk about that kind of stuff. If you reported him, you might be able to get cleared as a patient. Dick move. I shrug. That seems extremely unfair. And I doubt that reporting him would get me cleared. It probably just transferred me to someone else. I'm already making progress with him, so I can't do that. Sharing all over with another counselor would be super tedious. Dot nods as I speak my thoughts. He seems to understand. Well, sometimes these things benefit other people. You might be fine, but he is still breaking the rules. That could be harmful. It's not a good thing to fill people's heads with nonsense, especially in therapy. Okay, so you're the bad guy in this game, secretly. Your corporate shill. He has a point, but before I can talk any further, Isaac returns. Good news! We get to skip the line! I'm Ina. Woo! And all of a sudden, your friend is back in my good bugs! He has big eyes. The mood of the group suddenly skyrockets instantly. Uh, waiting in a long line would have honestly killed the flow of her evening. We'd also be extremely sober. Thankfully, Isaac's friend planned for that fact. Well then, what kind of drink should we order first? Expensive stuff. I prefer rum. That question lingers as you make your way inside the nightclub. A few people complain that we're able to skip the line. It's kind of flattering. I have no right to feel this way, but it makes you feel important and special. Tequila? Tequila? Tequila! Tequila! Dante quickly downs his heart, sickling me and Taylor to the same. Isaac secreted off to prepare whatever it needed to be prepared. As always, he remained tight lipped until the very end. Oh, I'm so ready to pay for this in the morning. Mm hmm. <laughs> I guess we're just gluttons for punishment. What are you guys in your 20s or something like that? Wait until your 30s. How about we grab another round and go sit down? At this rate, it could be hours before Isaac comes back. <laughs> Sounds good to me. 
Hey, barkeep! Three more tequila shots, please. And it should be covered. We're part of Isaac's group. Oop, I didn't turn my vibrator off. My phone off. I'm just hitting 100 with these sex things. Um, the bartender shrugs and says they have no idea what we're talking about. There's no reservations or holds in this place. Someone by the name of Isaac was going to say, um, do you know Clace? It's like, actually, we don't know Clace. There's some stuff happening on the second floor, but not down here. The second floor? The VIP section? We turn to face each other, a little wide-eyed. Tail leans in and such whispering. <sighs> That's amazing and all, but who's paying for these? They're already preparing the next round of shots. How expensive would that be, actually? I'll get it, don't worry. I, I got a bit of an advance from my publisher. Just don't let them know I wasted it on booze. But like, how much is that advance from your publisher? Because here's the thing. I mean, booze could be expensive. I mean, when I drink, I drink like a fish. It It's not a good habit, but... Um... Well, I guess it could be like $200. I'm sure they're used to hearing that, Dante. What is a writer if not an alcoholic in disguise? Hmm. Maybe save the trash talk until after you're treated. If I just pay for me and Delta, you'll get kicked out. And suddenly, I was joking! <laughs> you're the best friend ever, I swear. Sure. Bartender places three shot glasses in front of us. There goes, I guess those could be like, what? Seven dollars, twelve dollars if that was extremely bougie booze and extremely bougie place. In turn, Dante waves his phone in front of a scanner. Transactions complete and who grabs shots. Hey, follow me. I know exactly where we can sit. And thanks a million, Dante. I, I, I really mean it. Someday I'll find a way to repay you. You could stop making fun of my career, for one. Like I said, someday I'll find a way to repay you. <laughs> Follow Taylor as we talk, and eventually find an empty table. Making sure not to spill our shots, we place them down as we sit. Speaking of which, is your channel okay, Taylor? Well, actually, it's pretty great. You seem pretty scared about those shots, like you couldn't spare the 60 bucks. I don't like spending money if I can avoid it. Sixty bucks for three shot? What kind of fucking top tier tequila are you getting? Jesus Christ! Like, if it was the fifteen dollar Long Island iced tea, where it's like shot after shot after shot after shot and mixer and all that stuff, sure. But if it's like a shot of tequila, even if it if it's a double, that seems like a lot. And there's no point in spending it if someone else will treat me. That's kind of why I agreed to do this nightclub thing from the start. Uh, makes sense you rely on handouts. Now I know why the donate button takes up your entire page. <laughs> uh, I am totally against that stuff. I don't even have a donate button on my YouTube. I mean, maybe at some point I might think about that, but no. Nah. Bigger is better, as they say. If you're talking about penises, not donation it's pages. It's not just donations, Dante. I have one of the highest sub counts on the platform. How are you not fucking poor? Though it could be like YouTube where they take everything and... Well, if you're like a multi-million dollar or follower, then you might be able to pay for everything. Really? I, I guess I don't watch you too much. I wasn't paying attention when I guessed it either. <laughs> it's true. Your boy is making history. When I get a book deal, maybe you can help me out. Oh, on, on that note, uh, how is your latest project going? At a snail's pace, but at least it's moving. I took a couple days off to celebrate Delta's arrival. Especially tomorrow. You know, hangover day. Hangover day. Can't enjoy the highs without the lows. But don't worry, I'll make us some mimosas in the morning. Sometimes the best way to cure a hangover is to drink more. No. I've done that twice. And that just leads to more drinking. Just saying. I refuse to believe that. 
near a loss. But nothing ventured, nothing gained. Let's have a little toast to the unknown. Like, do you want a double hangover? No. Unless you have, like, the best, like, absolute resistance to pressure. It's like, mm, no. It's not unknown. It's literally not true. Taylor shrugs and glabs the shot glass. We down the next round of tequila. It's a little gross. Even though it's like $20 a shot? You know what they say about too much of good things. Well, maybe I'll believe you and get a big breakfast instead. My contract doesn't want me drinking too much anyways. Wait, they control what you do? You say that like it's abnormal, man. Yeah, There's I can't drink at work. There's always somebody on top of us that tells us what to do. Though I can't think of a few scenarios where that wouldn't be too bad. So you're a bottom. I want you to know that I got your joke. It just wasn't good. He's a rabbit, though. <laughs> well, I'm no writer, just an entertainer. Though our rabbit subs are doms. I kind of do what you subs. do, but with less elegance. Basically, get paid to vocalize my thoughts all day. I'm surprised people pay for that. I didn't pay a thing, and I still want a refund after listening to you. Well, there's a market for everything. It doesn't have to be good. I mean, look at how many copies your novels have sold. Ouch. Dunn laughs and shares a big smile with Taylor. I honestly have no comeback for that one. You win this round, but I'll get you next time. Does that mean his books aren't selling well? <laughs> Looking forward to it. You're always a worthy opponent. Hmm. Any idea what's taking Isaac so long, by the way? He hasn't said a thing in the group chat since he left. Well, we know he's upstairs now. He's probably making the VIP section look pretty for us. Guess that gives me time for a much needed bathroom break. Mmm, giving me and Delta some alone time, huh? I'd never torture my friends like that. I just gotta go. He smirks before leaving the table. Well, we're a bit over time. I know how this game kind of progresses, so we're just gonna continue going for a bit. An awkward silence follows, and a look around the club. Feeling something feels different about tonight, and it's not the alcohol. It feels like I'm actually gonna know these people. When I first arrived, it was clear that they were putting on an act. Were they? I couldn't tell. I don't blame them. First impressions are often important. My second impression can be even more important in my books. You know, the person you see when the courtesies start to fade. Not a bad thing in any way. It means they're getting used to me. I guess the silence isn't a bad time to gather my thoughts. And I know how this goes. I wonder how this... Interact with each word to I learn if this more is about important, it. but like... Upon interacting with all three, your experience will continue. Like, I wonder if this... Uh, well, it's kind of... Like, you just can't have a little bit of thinky time? Hey! Get your head out of the clouds! Stop think hear my thoughts. We finally get to hang out alone and you zone out? <laughs> if I didn't know any better, I'd take it as an insult. Well, you're insulting. I shake my head and apologize. In respect, it's kind of rude. You mean a lot to Isaac. He's made that very clear. And from what I've experienced, you do seem pretty awesome. Well, since he's taking his sweet time, how about we chat for a bit? And I flirt. That's true. We did have more than enough time to chat. Isaac is being slow, and I s saw the bathroom lineup awaiting Dante. I lean back in my chair and try to make myself more comfortable. It seemed like I'd be sitting here for a while longer yet. Experience heart to heart fragment. Taylor won. Oh, I could just be like, no. You know what? You? Stay in your corner. I don't want you to contact your horny. Hold on. Just let me move over there. There we go. Much better. Some joke. I uh, I don't know. Like, I think it was another one of his games or Clay's game where they go, I'm going to move and then move here. Jen and Face Taylor immediately make things more personal. This was the first time we've ever been alone, buzzed, in obnoxiously loud club. That's what's a perfect time to know each other. 
Like, I have really good hearing, I just can't hear things over other things, so I wouldn't be able to hear what the hell he's saying. I could smile between the two of us, Merck started our conversation. I was warned about his drunk behavior, so I was kind I kinda know what to expect. You know, I'm pretty proud of that sass off I had with Dante. <laughs> Usually he can pin me down, but I'm getting better on my feet. A quick wit can beat a sharp mind any day of the week. Yeah, I think you like being pinned down. But a few shots of booze can easily bring that wit to a full stop. Considering that, I think I handled myself pretty well. Maybe one of these days you and I can go head to head. Us face to face? I like the sound of that. Or maybe, uh, you know, one of us behind the other, or one of us pinned up against the wall. Really? That's the best you've got? <laughs> I'm not opposed to it, but you gotta work on your game. The ice is already broken, Delta. Swim a little deeper. So, be a bit more forward with my horniness? I'm not one of these socialite people who are like, hey, here's... You know. Exchange smile again, but it, it's much less awkward. And it's probably for the be best, since I assume we'll become close friends. A scoop seems super tight-knit. Getting close to one meant getting close to all, if you know well, what I mean. Before you came along, I was the newest member of the group. It's been that way for a couple years, but now we have some new blood. I get to look at you through the same lens they used to judge me. I wouldn't understand that. Oh, but don't worry. <laughs> I like what I see. It so, would've... do you move around a lot? Or will you be here long term? So, look at me through a new lens? Like I have a nice butt? Funny enough, my friends, when they first met me, one of them commented on the other one that I had a nice butt before they knew who I was. That made things a little bit awkward for them. I mean, I was like, I've got a butt. Plan to be here for the long term. Ah, good to know. You seem nice. The reason I ask is because I used to move around all the time. From one place to another, the system always kept me mobile. System? If there was a shot glass in front of him. So, this whole fresh start thing, I know what it's like. I'd brag about having more practice, but that's not really a good thing. Ooh. -oo. Moving around made it really hard to keep a stable group of friends. Yes, it does. When I got my first phone, though, everything changed. Making friends and keeping in touch when I move away? Priceless. I guess I also made some pretty good jokes. <laughs> got a lot of followers. Like, on your version of Twitter or what? So when I decided to start streaming, oh, I already had an audience. The transition from hobbyist to full-time job happened almost overnight. I bought a house here, settled down, and then met the rest of the group. And now I'm sitting here with you. That's the story of Taylor. You'll have to forgive me. I'm not one to really open up like this. But when you talk to strangers all day, you kind of need to hold back. It is true. Oh, don't get me wrong. I, I love my viewers more than anything. And yeah, there's a lot of regulars, but it all feels so surface level, you know? I'll never bond with them like I did with Isaac and Dante. Uh, guess I'm just one of those quality over quantity guys. Kind of ironic that I chose a field where numbers mean everything then. Hmm. Ah, can't complain too much, though. I guess I do have the best of both worlds. But quality's good. It's odd to see someone so successful gripe out of life. Really. But I guess nothing can be positive all the time. Even Sarton does have its drawbacks. I'm glad we got to have some time to ourselves, Delta. Even if it felt like I did most of the talking, I, I think I needed that. I talk to people all the time, but it's rarely about anything real. How about you join me at my place next week? We can have a blast tonight and pick this up next time. Maybe I'll even let you guest on my stream. If you're nice. If I'm nice? Oh, and we'll have a lot more privacy there. Feel free to take that one however you will. Oh, so it's going to be one of those Pornhub streams. I'm, I'm trying to blink. He smirks at me, and I give him a quick nod. There's no reason why I shouldn't... Why that shouldn't work, so I agree. The crowd nightclub isn't the best place to form bond. Well, I guess it depends on what you're looking for, actually. 
there's that face where he does look very rabbit like where you're... no the kind of deer in the headlights but you know rabbit but right now i had no interest in extending my reach beyond this group even though i've known isaac for years i'm getting to know him all over again that's a good thing though it was an adventure that i was happy to embark on you know these people and their quirks could only happen once Unless you have time travel. One day, I definitely look back and wish I could re relive it all. You yeah. really are the master of daydreaming, huh? <laughs> well, I guess all of this could be pretty overwhelming. New city, new friends, new everything, really. Same friends. I'll try not to Internet add friends are friends. so don't worry. Well, except for tonight, I can't make that promise. This club is a new experience for all of us, not just you. I noticed Dante return from the bathroom in the corner of my eye. Taylor must see that I am distracted and touch the hey, look. Hey, it's about time! Delta was almost boring me to death. Oh. Whoa, he's insulting you. Just so you know, that means he has a crush. You're horny. He sits down and plays with the empty shot glass in front of him. Sorry I took so long, by the way. Some guy tried to sell me drugs. You buy any? Ooh, did you buy enough for all of us? Dude, drugs are bad. Gay. Oh, all right. And how many energy drinks have you had today? I've never had one of those. Two? Oh, yes. There's the double standard. Can't say I didn't warn you about that contest, man. It was just a ploy to create new addicts, nothing more. I kind of feel like that is connected to the main... To, not the main game, but the first game, Major Minor, because the main character in that game did a what was it energy energy drink contest to meet the character place yeah yeah i heard it a thousand times i'd be a bit worried that they're fighting but no better uh than that by now it's how they get along if they hate each other they wouldn't talk at all it's about time it's about to continue about to continue but isaac startles us with his unexpected return Hey, looks like everything is good to go. Come with me. We're going somewhere special. Okay, maybe about 12 minutes longer than I was planned to it, but you know, yeah, I have everything in life. So, end of this, let's play. So, comment, guys, like, comment, send me like, dislike, chip, chip, so why, if you like my YouTube and like to grow, then please like, subscribe, and as you get the rest of the crew. And please remember to ban your animals that control the bit population. Because you don't want futures where the animals take control of everything and then have future seeing powers, except for some of them that might have the ability to resist it or something. I don't know. And until next time, let's play. Animal 6 with Kumu Webby. So thanks to see you.